everybody, Dave Monahan, Goods and Tools and Supplies, and time again for another Tech Lab Tuesday. Well, today we're going to talk about valve springs. Valve springs come in a variety of different configurations single coils, double coils, triple coils. <laughs> yeah, triple coils like these top fuel dragster, 11,000 horsepower springs, probably putting out 1,200 to 1,400 pounds of pressure. Monsters. They have uh, new beehives that have been out for the last several period of years, and uh, they come in at different sizes and pressures. It's important that we know what kind of pressure our valve springs exert. I know there's a variety of different high quality manufacturers out there for valve springs. And when you order those valve springs, you're going to get a, a, a certificate in those valve spring sets that's going to tell you these springs at this height should equal this pressure. And uh, before you even get to that point, uh, you need to also be aware of the machine itself. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. We offer not one, but two different valve spring testers. Our first one is the analog, all analog version, right here, VST60G, has a 600 pound capacity. It's got a five inch diameter Ashcroft scale right here that reads both in pounds or kilograms. It's pounds is 10 pound increments all the way through its zero to 600 range. It's got a two inch diameter platen and I take a height of about four and a half inches of the overall length of a valve spring on this unit. It's a fine adjustment bell here, and on the back of the machine, there are five different major adjustment uh, locations for it. So we can move this whole head assembly up and down to get the ballpark range of the height of these valve springs. But when we fine tune it to get the specific height to measure a specific pressure, that's where this adjustment of this bell, we just undo this uh, nylon uh, set screw here, and then we rotate this counterclockwise clockwise to get whatever end result we're measuring. And again, as we measure here with a with a quality spring measure, we want to make sure our height is correct. And, and what they've done uh, on this analog machine, I always like to keep my calipers handy because uh, with an analog machine, we've also got an analog dial and thousands of an inch over here. So you can say it's got to go to say 1600, 1700, whatever that might be. And of course, that's going to be written on this scale, but again, you've got to confirm that with your dial calipers. One thing I like about this one, it also reads metric. So on this side, I can do a quick flip, and now I'm working in the metric dimensions of those same heights that we have on the other side at the uh, thousandths of an inch. Another thing I really like about this machine is the over center clamp. When we come forward all the way down and lock this in, there's a special over center clamp, so when it comes to this position, it actually locks into position. That gives you that repeatability that you'll need to make, make sure that you're hitting the same height requirement after all these adjustments to get to that final result, specific height to the equal specific pressure, and that way you can qualify those valve springs to be everything that you want them to be or not. Another really cool feature we put on this, <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that, we got a T-handle shifter on that thing, yeah, yeah, I know, it's cool, because what, we're guys, we're engine builders, guys and gals, engine builders, and stuff like that is cool. It doesn't make the tool function any better, but it certainly does look cool out there, so the VST60G, uh, uh, made here in Minnesota, uh, from your uh, goods and tools and supplies. The other unit that I have here is the intercomp unit. Okay, this is the bad to the bone. This is for those big inch motors, those big killer pound, poundages, poundages of spring. This will handle up to 1,500 pounds. Goodness gracious, that's a lot of spring pressure. Two inch diameter platen. This will handle a five inch, five inch tall valve spring here. Uh, broken down in one pound increments on the digital scale itself broken into one thousandths of an inch or millimeters here on the vertical digital scale. Uh, what I really like about this unit is the fact that I can preset an open and close pressure with this adjustment up here. Whatever that height might be open, I can preset that, dial it in, lock these uh, nuts down to that specific dimension, or my close pressure here, same thing, I can preset that up. So I, as I'm going through, the set of valve springs that I'm trying to test and confirm, I can have that preset open and 
close to know exactly where I'm at. But before you start using any of these machines, as you've heard me say before, and by God, here I am saying it again, you're not measuring, you're just guessing. We gotta make sure these units are also uh, calibrated and ready to go. We offer this VST95. This is our calibration spring. We don't actually manufacture it here. It's made in a special laboratory under certain hermetically sealed conditions and at a specific height. It will equate to a specific pressure, both open and close. In this particular case, this one was rated uh, at 1,400. So give me about 135, uh, 38 pounds, excuse me. And uh, I'm going to put on this analog machine first. And I, I preset this with my dial caliper to make sure I'm 1,400 here. And I preset the digital unit over here at the uh, 1,400 uh, closed, or excuse me, open uh, spring pressure. So as I get to here, put that inside, bring that up, 1,400 confirmed with my gauge. I'm getting the recommended uh, poundage that I'm supposed to have at that point, which is right at 138 pounds. I'm a little bit over on my adjustment. It could be the nervousness I have right here doing this video for you guys, but, but right in that 1,400, I've got my 138 pounds. And you saw how that over center clamp works. Now I've got pressure on this bell, fine tune adjusting bell. Got to use my really cool T handle right here, and I'm locking that as I'm going through a whole sequence of springs. On the same note, I can go over to this machine, the digital unit, turn him on, turn my vertical scale on, and again I've gone through a, the process of presetting this. Bring this down, and I think I got that set right. Let's double check. There's my 1400 back again, 136 pounds. So I'm within a couple of uh, a quarter percentage points of this unit and this unit being dead nuts at that 1400 range. I can also flip it to this side here, again, preset at 1700. And if I recall, it should be around 60 some pounds. Let's see what that was. Uh, right at 70 pounds at the 1700 range. So again, I like this because I can preset open, I can preset close, and it makes it processing a set of valve springs a whole lot easier. That's a little magnet, so that's one thing. It does seem to want to get a hold of that and hang on to it through that process. Makes no difference which unit you have. You have this one for your high-end work. You have this one for your everyday work. There are more sophisticated and, and computer uh, uh, direct connect uh, spring testers and raters out there. But you can't beat uh, the BST 60 g 600 pound analog machine or the VST 2000 fully digital 1500 pound capacity spring tester from all your friends here at Nuts and Tools and Supply. So if you have some questions, give us a call at 1 800 533 8010 or catch us on the web at goodson.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.